Welcome to Pont Neuf Studio. My name is Kristen, and today I will be showing you how to crochet lip balm keychain holders. You need cotton worsted weight yarn, a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, a swivel D hook clasp, and a darning needle. To begin, make a slip knot. If you are new to crochet, I will add video links below that show very slowly how to make the slip knot, chain, and single crochet stitch. Once your slip knot is made, chain 6. For your first row, insert your hook into the second chain from your hook and create a single crochet stitch. Continue making one single crochet in each chain across for a total of five stitches. Start your second row by chaining one and turning your work. You will now insert your hook into the very first stitch and create a single crochet. Work a single crochet in each stitch across for your total of five stitches. Each row will be done the same. Chain one, turn, and make five single crochet stitches across. Continue making your rows until you have completed 21 rows. Pause your video and I will meet you back then. At the end of your 21st row, your project should measure approximately five and a half inches long. For row 22, we will be decreasing from five stitches in the row to three. To do this, insert your hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and pull through so you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the very next stitch, yarn over and pull through so you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. This finishes your first decrease. Single crochet in the next stitch. We will now do another decrease. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through so you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through for three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops to finish your decrease. For each row after, you will now have a total of three single crochet stitches. For rows 23 through 27, chain one, turn, and make one single crochet in each stitch across. Pause your video and meet me back when you finish row 27. After finishing row 27, cut a 16 inch tail. Yarn over and pull your entire tail through to finish off. Slide your swivel clasp over the last few rows. Thread the end of your yarn through a darning needle. Fold row 27 to row 23 and attach to each other by sewing across with 4 stitches.
Once you're done sewing across the top, flip your project over so the seam faces the back. Sew one stitch down into the row below. Fold the bottom up to row 27. Whip stitch from the top to the bottom to connect the sides together. To whip stitch, insert your needle into the end of the back row and push up through the end of the front row. Pull your yarn through. Come back around, insert your needle through the back row, up through the front, front row, and pull through. Continue with your whip stitches all the way down to the bottom. Pause your video and I'll meet you back then. After you finish your last stitch, weave your yarn through the bottom row. Connect the other sides together by whip stitching back up to the top. Pause your video and I'll meet you back when you're at the end. After you complete your last stitch, knot your ends together. Weave in your tails going back and forth a few times to make sure nothing comes undone. Your project is now complete. Please hit the thumbs up button below if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. Thank you!